Hello everyone. We are into the discussion on the subject engineering graphics. Under engineering graphics, we are going to discuss a topic called projection of solids. Under projection of solids, we are going to solve a problem on axis inclined to one and parallel to another. This is the sixth solved problem under solids axis inclined to one and parallel to another plane. Now we will enter into the problem. The given problem is draw the projections of a cone base 50 mm diameter and axis 70 mm long lying on the HP on one of its generators with the axis parallel to the VP. This is a cone. This line and this line are called generators. This is the axis of the cone and this is the base. Here the diameter of the base of a cone is 50 mm and axis height is 70 mm. Now we will write the data from the given problem. The name of the object is cone and its base diameter is 50 mm, axis height is 70 mm and the cone is resting on its uh, one of its generator on the HP and axis is parallel to the VP. In the problem it is mentioned that cone is lying on the HP on one of its generator. That is this generator is on the HP. That means the cone's axis is inclined to the HP. As you know, in the case of projection of solids, we need to start with true shape of the base. Here, the cone is resting on one of its generator on the HP. That means its axis is inclined to the HP. So that the cone is tilted in such a way that the axis is perpendicular to the HP so that its base is parallel to the HP. If its base is parallel to the HP, then in top you will get the true shape of the base of a cone that is circle. Here the cone is resting on a generator on the HP, then its axis is inclined to the HP. To draw the true shape of the base, assume that the axis is perpendicular to the HP. So the base lies on the HP. The true shape of the base is visible in the top view. Here, the true shape of the base is a circle. This particular problem is to be solved into two stages. The first stage is initial position assumption. Second stage is one of the generator of the cone is on the HP. Here, in the initial position assumption, we are assuming the cone is resting on its base on HP so that its axis is parallel to the VP. In this position, we will draw top view as well as front view of the cone. The top view of a cone is a circle of diameter 50 mm. After drawing the top view of a cone, then draw its related front view. The front view it is to be a triangle. Here the axis height of the cone is given as 70 mm. Then in the second stage, it is mentioned that the cone is resting on one of its generator on the HP. That means this generator or this generator to be aligned on this reference line. That is, we are reproducing the first stage front view into the second stage front view such that one of the generator is on the XY line. After reproducing the first stage front view into second stage front view, then draw its related top view. The procedural steps related to the projection of the cone are divided into two stages. Stage one, initial position assumption. In this, we are assuming cone is resting on its base on the HP. In the stage two, we are keeping one of the generator of the cone on the HP. With this brief explanation, we will enter into the detailed construction of the projection of a cone with the given data. As a first step, under the projection of right circular cone is drawing reference line. We are using first angle projection so that front view comes above the XY line, top view comes below the XY line. That is front view is projected onto the vertical plane, top view is projected onto the horizontal plane. Here the cone is resting on its base on HP so that the top view of the cone is a circle. The base circle diameter of the cone is given in the problem as 50 mm. So take 25 mm as a radius. Draw circle. Draw 
नेम द सेंटर ऑफ द बेस सर्कल एस ओ एंड आल्सो दिस ओ इज द इमेज ऑफ द एपेक्स इन टॉप यो नाउ डिवाइड द बेस सर्कल इनटू 12 इक्वल पार्ट्स either by using compass or by using protractor top view of the base of a cone is a circle of diameter 50 mm and ए बी सी डी ई एफ जी हेच ई जे के अंड एल आर दि डिजन पॉइंट आन दि सर्कम फ्रेंड्स आफ ए सर्कल आफ्टर ड्राइंग दि टाप यू आफ ए कॉन देन वील प्रोजेक्ट इट्स रिटेड फ्रंट यू फॉर दट ड्रा प्रोजेक्टर पासिंग थ्रू दि सेंटर आफ दि सर्कल से ओ टूवर्ड्स दि वर्टिकल प्लेन अंड हियर दि एक्सिस हईट आफ दि कॉन इज गिवन एज 70 mm the cone is resting on its base on hp so that its image in front you falls on the xy line so draw projectors passing through the division points on the circumference of a circle say a b c d etc on to the xy line this arrow indicates the direction of front view of the cone here for the observer the points a a b c d e f and g are visible whereas the other points a h i j k and l are invisible then join o dash and a dash as well as o dash and g dash with continuous dark lines and also dark a dash g dash line draw axis line after that join o dash b dash o dash c dash o dash e dash o dash f dash with continuous thin line make a note the circle is with h pencil whereas these division lines are with 3 h pencil and in the front you o dash a dash o dash g dash a dash g dash lines are with h pencil whereas remaining lines are with 3 h pencil this is the top view of a cone when it is resting on its base on hp and its related front view here the axis height of the cone is given as 70 mm here o dash a dash o dash g dash are the extreme generators in the problem it is mentioned that the cone is resting on its generator is on hp that means we need to keep o dash g dash or o dash a dash on the xy line locate a point o dash after that take o dash g dash as a radius o dash as a center draw an arc then name this point as g dash as you know that o dash g dash and o dash a dash are with the same radius so take o dash as a center o dash g dash as a radius draw an arc 
then take g dash a dash as a radius g dash as a center cut already drawn arc with that you will get the intersection point say a dash here b dash c dash d dash e dash and f dash are the points on a dash and g dash so transfer these points from first stage to the second stage take g dash b dash as a radius g dash as a center draw an arc similarly a dash and f dash also with the same radius so a dash as a center the same radius draw an arc then g dash c dash as a radius g dash as a center draw an arc with a dash as a center with the same radius draw an arc with that you will get point e then g dash d dash as a radius g dash as a center draw an arc then name these points reproducing the first stage front view into the second stage front view with the required condition is completed then we will draw second stage top view for drawing the second stage top view we need to draw the projectors passing through a dash b dash c dash etc towards the horizontal plane as well as draw projector passing through o dash towards the horizontal plane then draw projectors horizontally rightward direction from the initial stage top view point say a b c d e f g h i j k and l locate the intersection points from front view point say g dash this is projector coming vertically downward direction from top view point say g the projector going horizontally rightward direction then this is the intersection point name it as g1 similarly name remaining points this is the direction of the observer's vision in top view as a first step join all outside points with continuous lines then for the observer this total base is visible so join j k l a b c and d points with continuous dark curve with this we completed second stage top view here the construction lines are drawn with 3h pencil whereas the actual drawing lines are drawn with h pencil dimensioning is with 2h pencil in the first stage cone is resting on its base on hp and axis parallel to vp in the second stage cone is resting on its generator on hp and axis parallel to vp related to the dimensioning details the base diameter of the cone is 50 mm and axis height of the cone is 70 mm all dimensions are in millimeters